Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Hope you're having a blessed day. And as we watch things continue to fold in the Middle East, we continue to see the signs that Jesus told us, the signs that the Bible have told us, are the end times. Now, we never set a date here, we never set a time, we never set an hour, and so on. We don't do that here, and nor should anybody else do it. We saw yesterday what happened in Damascus. Now, we'll read from Isaiah 71, which we've read countless times. The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Now, we know Damascus is the focal point of where Iran keeps their weapons, where Syria has their airports, where they funnel in weapons from Iran. Now let's read from yesterday where Israeli airstrikes killed two pro-Iranian fighters near the Syrian capital Damascus early on Friday during raids targeting a Hezbollah arms depot and other states, other sites near Syria's capital, a war monitor said. Israel has hit targets in Syria several times in the past weeks as regional tensions rise over the Israeli-Hamas war in the Gaza Strip. Citing a military source, Syria's state news agency, SANA, early reported material damage from the airstrikes. The military source did not provide details on the targets, but added that Syria's air defense intercepted some of the Israeli missiles. The Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human, for Human Rights, which relies on a network of sources in Syria that two foreign fighters from pro-Iran groups were killed. Now, like I said, we are seeing this Bible prophecy continue to unfold, and it's something that cannot be overlooked. It cannot be uh, just uh, pushed aside. Obviously, anything that's written in the Bible is beyond important. It's uh, God's word. But this happened yesterday, and like it says over here, that, that uh, Israeli has hit targets in Syria several times in the past weeks as the tensions rise. Damascus is a big Bible prophecy that was 600 years before even Jesus Christ walked on the earth, the book of Isaiah. So is this thing coming to pass now? It sure looks like it. Now, we read from Isaiah 1, uh, excuse me, Amos 1, 6, where he talks about, I will punish Gaza. I will punish Gaza for their sins. And Gaza's getting really pummeled right now. Whether you believe in it or not, this is what's happening. And this is all written. Like I said, when people don't, when, when you bring this attention to people, they either have two reactions. Which are either, wow, I didn't know that. Or, ah, this is just nonsense. It's just a bunch of goat herders writing the book. But can it be just goat herders? When you, when you, like I said, when you read these things about Damascus and Gaza, talks about Lebanon. So this was done yesterday. Like I said, as as the war continues to escalate, uh, I believe Hezbollah is. Uh, just about involved the north northern part but we're getting there we're, we're watching everything unfold and as believers we see the signs we watch the signs and we look for the signs as Jesus told us to look for the signs so it's just Bible prophecy it sure looks like it like I said Damascus will be a ruinous heap so we know it's going to be destroyed as God's is being destroyed. But we know what the Bible says. And we know that the, that the Bible is true. So as Bible prophecy continues to unfold. It's hard not to. Like I've always stated. It's hard not to focus on it. Now should we focus on other things about the Lord? Absolutely. we got to focus on everything that's written in that book. And do the best that we can. The burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Taken away from being a city, one day there, one day not. So 
Because usually when that happens, a lot of times it, it could be nuclear. But the way they are conducting these strikes, conducting these attacks, these military attacks, you're seeing how they are really punishing Gaza. And Syria, like I said, is the uh, is Iran's funnel to store their weapons, Iranian weapons, and their airports are being are being hit because we know we you know obviously we, if we know that Syria is an ally of Iran and helping them with their weapons and helping them through this war, we can rest assured that Israel does and they are going through what they have to go through. But keep watch, you know, keep watch as uh, these things unfold and don't lose sight of it. Again, should we not focus on other things about the Lord? No, absolutely, we gotta continue to focus on everything about God, the end times and everything else that is written in that book. But we, as things continue to happen, like I said, it's hard not to discuss it, not hard, not, it's hard not to talk about it. Because these things are coming to life right in front of our faces. So what we need to do is keep praying, keep doing the work, occupy till he comes, and do the best we can. But see, he's coming soon. How soon? My brothers and sisters, I wish I could tell you it's today. I wish I could tell you it's while I'm doing this video, but I don't know that time and nobody else does. But what I do know is that I love you and I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for the support of the channel. I pray for you all. And I do love you all. If I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this. God would not have me doing this. So I hope you have a blessed Saturday. And we will talk soon. Bye-bye.